I do realize you took me away from Apple Bucking, right? How important is it that you need me to record this? Hasbro? Alright, yep, no argument there. The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is property of Lauren Faust, DHX Media, and Hasbro. Please support the official release. Princess Celestia, I'm so glad Get to- Get the fuck out. You count the levels one, two, and three, life goes on, anything goes coming up. Okay, so what do we have to do again? Make friends, of course. It's a super secret mission Celestia put me on. She said herself that I am the only one for the job. Really? Because I remember it going like this. <laughs> Celestia, I'm so glad Get to- Get the fuck out. Where to, princess? Man, I don't- I don't know. Fucking Ponyville or something. Is that real? Uh, I don't care. Just go there. What do I do there, princess? <sighs> you gotta go make friends. Yes, go make friends. And through that, you will learn the value of friendship. But princess, I already have friends for- Well, too bad. Go make new ones. There's a dragon. Bye. Exactly. Super secret mission. So secret, she couldn't even remember the name of the location herself. Now, let's go make friends! Look! There's someone now! Let's go talk to her! Hi there! Oh my god! Is that a dragon? I'm out of here! Huh? That was weird. That was racist. Well, maybe we'll have better luck the next one we meet. Oh look! Another pony to befriend! Hi there! We don't lack your kind around here. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just, uh... Applejack, are you trying to scare the new folks with your toy shotgun again? Apple Bloom, shut up. I'm trying to be dramatic. The only thing dramatic about you is how much of a pain in the ass you are. Now shut up and show her around. Fine. Anyways, welcome to the Apple Family Orchard. Here we have apples. And what else? Dude. Everyone in my family has Apple in their name. There's nothing else. Don't you have any other hobbies, or...? Okay, Midnight Sparkle, or whatever your name is. It's Twilight. Twilight, right, right. Look, this is season one, alright? No one is expecting actual character development yet. Hell, I'm not even guaranteed to have any since I'm not a main character. So please, just let me enjoy my sparse characteristics before they take that away from me too, alright? So just get along and like, I don't know, grow wings or go to a fancy ball or some bullshit like that. What was that first part? Out you go. Real subtle, asshole. Hey, I'm Rainbow Dash and I- Oh, good for you. What? You know, for being, you know. Huh? Oh, I get it. You're still in there. That's cool. Uh, you can always choose when the time is right to come out. What are you talking about? Is it really okay for me to say it in public? What are you saying? Wait, are you implying I'm gay? You're not? No! Where would you even get that assumption? Well, you know, the whole rainbow hair and stuff. I was born this way, asshole! Yes, you were, and no one has the right to judge you for Christ, I feel bad for anyone caught dead looking like that weird colored bush. Oh, hi there! Um, hello? Oh my god, please stop talking to me. Uh, what was that? For the love of god, leave me alone. Funny, you're the second Pegasus I've met today. Rainbow Dash was pretty rough around the edges, but you- Did you, you say Rainbow Dash? Oh yes, uh, do you know her? 
Oh, you mean Little Miss. Oh, look at me. I'm so fast and cool, cause I did a sonic rain boom one time. Or do you mean, oh, look at me. I'm protecting your honor in a race, cause I can't get over the fact I don't have the spotlight on me. Um, I'm sorry? Don't even get me started on what happened after she met my parents. I Why can't you be more think like her we flutter? should go. Why huh? Can't you in the middle of like this? That? No, this is awesome. Two hours later. You know, Rainbow Dash has proper manners. I bet Rainbow Dash's parents don't tell her to pick up her room more than once. Whoa, we'll never forget the time she made me go to that party. It was so oh, at least today is all over, and we can relax. Uh, don't say that. Please don't say that. Spike, look! And here we go. I found this on the internet from the famous philosopher Ponstratimus. He predicted that on the day of the Summer Sun celebration, Nightmare Moon would come back and plunge the world into darkness. Oh, come on, Twilight. You don't really believe that stuff, do you? I don't think we should take a chance on it, Spike. It says here she can only be beaten by the elements of harmony. We better start looking. Okay, Twilight, let's think about this for a second, right? Even if Nightmare Moon was real, wouldn't Celestia just take care of it? Yeah, I guess you're right, Spike. Come on, uh, the Summer Sun celebration's gonna start soon. Hmm, things feel a little weird. Hey, guys, what's up, guys? It's, uh, Nightmare Moon. Give me your shit. Fuck this show. More seductive. Oh, baby, oh, baby.